The Midwinter Blight is here in Diablo 4, taking over the Fractured Peaks region on the map. If we get into the game and open up the map, we can see that there's this purple outline covering the Fractured Peaks area, with Kievashad going to be the main central hub for this event. If we get into Kievashad and go over to Kormon's old stomping grounds, where he had his malignant heart table, we see a new NPC, Gillian, a bard with his own little workshop table. And if we talk to him, we get this little window that pops up telling us how this event works. So there's going to be three main currencies that we're going after, Blighted Fragments, Lost Heirlooms, and a Red Cloaked Trophy. Once we get enough of each of these materials, we can go over to Gillian's Workshop and convert them into Midwinter Proofs. And these proofs are going to be the currency that we use to purchase items from Gillian, whether it's the cosmetics, the new aspect, the new elixir, gold purse, or even a random assortment of spoils that you can get. So when we get into Gillian's little vendor shop here, we can see that the cosmetic items are going to cost 20 to 50 midwinter proofs, depending on what it is. The aspect costs 10, the random assortment of spoils costs 5, and the elixir and purse both cost 1. I did the purse one a couple times, and each time I did, it gave me in between 750 to 800,000 gold. So if you kind of look at it that way, the cosmetic items that cost 50, if we do 50 times 800,000, it's costing you about 40 million gold for each one of those ones in the higher 50 end. Depending on how long it takes to get one of these midwinter proofs, if you don't care about getting the aspect or the spoils, the elixir, any of the cosmetic items, or if you already got enough of everything you want, this may be the fastest way to gain 800,000 gold at a time. So the question now is how do we get these midwinter proofs to purchase these things? Well, if we go over to Gillian's workbench, we can see that the three different currencies here, the Blighted Fragments, the Lost Heirlooms, and the Red Cloak Trophy, all can be exchanged for the separate proofs. Starting with the most common one, this is the one that you'll get from just randomly slaying the purple enemies in the event. The Blighted Fragments cost 300 of these for a single midwinter proof. Going further down, the Lost Heirlooms, these cost 30 for a single proof. Lastly, the Red Cloaked Trophy is gained through killing the Red Cloaked Whore, who is the big bad of this whole event. The one time that I fought him so far was the end of the Blighted Revelry event, where you have to ignite this wagon, take down a bunch of their little statue things, and then he'll appear as a boss, take him out, and then you get the trophy. That's a one-to-one, -one, so one of those trophies gets you one of the Midwinter Proofs. And then lastly, as a byproduct of exchanging all these different currencies into Midwinter Proofs, you will upgrade your Midwinter Tribute tier, which looks like it currently only goes up to three. I don't know if that's just what they're going to stick to or if they're going to make that longer as time goes on. But this will give you some extra coin. It'll give you a spoil bag, which is just random rares and legendary items, sometimes even uncommons in there. But yeah, that looks like that's the whole event. Just go out, slay stuff. One thing to be aware of is make sure that they're the purple goat-like enemies. I had an event where it was someone was stuck under a cart and you go to help them, but it's actually one of those bandit ambush ones. And so I just fought a bunch of bandits for 60 seconds. So any of the bandits you kill don't give you any of those blighted fragments that you want to exchange for those midwinter proofs. So just something to be aware of. I mean, I spent maybe 20 minutes on this event so far and already got my tribute tier up to level two. I already have 10 of the midwinter proofs. So this event's not going to take long at all. It's not something you're going to have to grind at constantly, which is a good thing. So that's about it for this video. It's just a fun little free event. Get some free cosmetic items. Maybe the current best way to gain gold. Let me know what you think in the comments about this event or Diablo 4 in general. Otherwise, I'm gonna get back to it.